Hi! Good day! This is Nina Victoria de la Cruz de Nau of Bukig National Agricultural and Technical School. The title of my research proposal is the effect of water spinach, Ipomea aquatica leaves extracts on the blood cholesterol level of hypercholesterolemic spragdolirats. Hyperlipidemia is considered as one of the most endemic risk factors associated with atherosclerosis and atherosclerosis-related conditions such as coronary heart disease, ischemic cerebrovascular disease, and peripheral vascular disease. In the present work, Ipomea aquatica leaves extract will be evaluated for anti-hyperlipidemic activity on experimental animal models, Sprague rats. This study could serve as guide for related studies on medicinal plants and provide information on anti-hyperlipidemic activity of the tested plants. This study will help the successful researchers to patent their output and demand royalty from the drug laboratory companies who are interested to adopt scientific technology generated from the research. The method that will be used in evaluating the effect of Ipomea aquatica leaves extract on the blood cholesterol level of Sprague rats will be based on the findings of Shabnam Hajan et al. 2016. The research on the anti-hyperlipidemic activity of Ipomea aquatica leaves extract on high cholesterol diet induced hyperlipidemia will be studied. The expected outcome will be shown in the paradigm. Extracted of Ipomea aquatica leaves extract 25 mg per kilogram, standard drug simvastatin 5 mg per kilogram are the input. Evaluation of the lipid profiles of rats, TC, PG, LDL, VLDL, and HDL levels is the process, while the output, the anti-hyperlipidemic effect of Ipomea aquatica leaves extract in the following profiles, TC, PG, LDL, VLDL, and HDL levels. The present study will be carried out to evaluate the effect of Ipomea aquatica leaves extract on the blood cholesterol level of Sprague rats. Specifically, it will answer the following questions. What is the blood cholesterol level of hypercholesterolemic Sprague rats after the application of the following treatments? Treatment 1. Rats fed high fat pellet with 1 ml oral dose of pig's brain broth without concurrent medication. Treatment 2. Rats fed high fat pellet with 1 ml oral dose of pig's brain broth with concurrent simvastatin 5 mg per kilogram medication. Treatment 3. Rats fed high fat pellet with 1 ml oral dose of pig's brain broth with Ipomea aquatica leaves extract at dose of 25 ml per kilogram. Are there significant differences between Ipomea aquatica leaves extract 25 mg per kilogram and simvastatin 5 mg per kilogram in terms of level of total cholesterol, LDL, VLDL, HDL, and triglycerides? The plant will be collected from farm at Bukig National Agricultural and Technical School. Collected leaves of kangkong, Ipomea aquatica, will be washed thoroughly with water. The leaves will be dried forcibly by oven drying. Following the drying of the leaves from kangkong, Ipomea aquatica, 55 grams of the dried with cheesecloth into clean amber. The filtered extract will be concentrated under negative pressure at 40 degrees Celsius in a rotary evaporatory. The semi-solid mass that will be obtained indicates a yield of 22%. The animals will be purchased from local breeder from Tugigaro City and will be kept in the animal laboratory at PITAHC at Kari Tugigaro City under room temperature in a conventional animal facility. In this study, 12 rats will randomly divided into 3 treatments of 4 each. The study will be repeated daily in 5 days and blood samples were taken after overnight fasting without food but free access to water. Fasted blood samples will be collected on day 6 after 5 days of high-fat pelleted food consumption and daily dose of brain broth with concurrent administration of the different treatments. Samples will be collected from each rat and serum will be separated from blood about 1 hour after something by centrifugation of 3,500 to 4,000 RPM for 10 minutes at best diagnostic laboratory carried to Gigaro City. The expected output of this study will be the anti-hyperlipidemic effect of leaves of kangkong Ipomea aquatica in the following profiles, TC, PG, LDL, VLDL, and HDL levels. This could serve as guide for related studies on medicinal plants and provide information on the anti-hyperlipidemic activity of the tested plants. Here is the work plan of my study. And here are my references. Thank you and good day once again.